Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, my name is Sean. I am the senior editor at postapocalypticmedia.com. And today I'm going to try out this game called Paradise Lost. Um, I haven't played it yet. I literally just fired it up before the stream. And from what I understand, I've written a couple posts about it, uh, you know, like announcement posts and the trailer announcement, things like that. And so basically what it is, is it's a alternate history game about what if World War II kept going on 20 years after uh, it was supposed to end 1945. So it, it, you know, it kept going into the 60s. And then finally the Nazis developed uh, nuclear warfare and wiped out Europe. And that's kind of what, you know, with that setting in mind, now we have, uh, you play as this young boy who lives in Poland and he finds this German bunker, this Nazi bunker that, uh, that has some crazy technology in it. So it's post-apocalyptic, you know, that's why we're doing it here. Um, it's alternate history. It's supposed to be very beautiful you know, from what I've seen in the uh, in the trailers and everything. But other than that, this is a new experience. This is a, a brand new game here. So I'm even going to click new game because it's a new game. Uh, I'm excited about this because I've only seen, you know, little videos here and there about what it's what it's actually about. All right. So I'm going to figure this game out as you're watching. Because I'm a glutton for punishment like that. We'll see how that works out. Uh, this is apparently starting up the game. But we get to see it together. That's the important part. Now I anticipate crashes. I thought it was going to crash right there. Brand new game, just launched today. Haven't tried it with my system, so <laughs> we'll see how this works. That's gorgeous. like I'm watching a movie. You're just watching me watch a movie right now. It's already so sad. I just, I feel like crying already. Oh, and then they bring a teddy bear into it. Oh. A frozen teddy bear. intro okay <laughs> panning out panning out no I'm not Okay, WASD, mouse camera, very, uh, oh, it's dark. I hate dark games. Do I have a flashlight? Do I have anything? 
Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I just came down into this bunker. Um, it's absolutely pitch black. There we go. Come on, light it. I'm scared of the dark too. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> and now mom is going to make it all warm and cozy and you tidy up your toys, okay? All right. It'll be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? Oh, I guess I'm still a baby at this point. Maybe when you're big and strong, the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Did I tell you how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. I'm in there. That must be the same teddy bear from the beginning. Oh, it was a flashback. Okay. Uh oh. The autosave just kicked on. You know what that means. This is giving me like Silent Hill vibes, which. Do you want to see a grown man scream? Because that might happen. Did you hear that? What is that? That's a gun. That's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, there's something in here. Okay, so I can interact with that. Oh, I don't know if you can read that. Let me read it to you. Uh, May 19th, 1960. I'm afraid morale is continuing to decline. Some of the men are getting restless. I suspect some of them have realized that their Oberlutnant, which I guess is probably German for lieutenant, uh, no, knows as little as they do. I understand that our mission is top secret, but we are possibly the f best equipped unit in the entire German army, and our purpose still remains a mystery to us. We are sat on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, Geiger counters, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We even have a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions. When will we take the fight to the enemy and that's in 1960 so was that 15 years after you know World War II is supposed to end it gives you a little bit of insight uh, that looks like the only thing I can interact with and you you know they make it pretty obvious with that giant thing over it alright so it's giving you a little bit of uh, you know atmosphere Um, very Bioshock. Uh, I was going to say Fallout, but you can't interact with enough stuff to make it fall. Okay, so I guess there's something over there that I can also interact with. Uh, I keep hearing a voice. Which is uber creepy, as they would say. <laughs> See, if this is a Fallout game, we could just go through all these lockers, but... Frozen water coming out of there. That's very cool looking. Very, very gorgeous game. Um, is that me breathing? Oh, here's the gun. That must be from the other side. There's blood on it. Uh, I want to interact with everything, not just these pieces of paper. All right, let's try this. I'm not going to read all these. Um, another one from 1960. 
basically talking about nothing had changed. The door was sealed. And I again encountered zero trespassers. So they're basically, the daily report is saying that it's boring. But what happened? So from what I understand, this is supposed to take place in 1980. So 20 years after. Which way did I come in? I think I came in that way. I saw... Uh, oh, that's where I came in. Okay. So I came in there. I looked that way. Let's go down here. Super scary. Wow, that's really, really dark. Certainly very atmospheric. Wow, even further down? I feel like I shouldn't have a lighter around this stuff. <laughs> These munitions and mortars and grenades and all that. Alright, let's go further down. This giant glowing thing. Oh, I can fit. Okay. I can fit through here. See, I would want to look through every one of these boxes. Oh. Too loud. What was that? Oh, another flashback. What happened? Is everything all right? Oh, I can choose. I'm just gonna say it's, it's nothing. A... It didn't sound like nothing. Well, are you going to bring me that rotor or not? It's uh -huh. broken. Why didn't you say so? Mom? Who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? It's no one. Okay, it's no one. All right, what's this over here? That seems too obvious for me to just go straight for it, but I'm gonna go straight for it. I don't know what that means, but uh, let's press it. No, can't. down there see I man the lack of lighting is really crazy I hope that changes there's nothing I can do with that button which is also kind of frustrating uh, let's go back looks like there's a bunch of buttons in there Hopefully one of these is the power button, am I right? Well, it actually looks like it has power. To interact, move... Oh, I see. So I hold the mouse button down and move it down. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's my plasma rifle? Is there anything moving down there? No. As far as I know, there's not even anyone in here. So, now I have to turn that thing off. That's cool. You can even hear the, the old grindy... Uh, mechanics of that thing moving around. Okay, here's something I can interact with. No idea what it says. Well, uh, do I get to select? It says select. But oh, there we go. What what does this mean? I need some help from the uh, from the audience. Uh, I don't know any German, which is ironic because. My grandfather was German. Um, let's see. Let's try that one. 
Nice. Okay. It turned off the alarm. Alright. So that... Oh, and that light over there is on. Let's check this out. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, this is very Bioshock. Except things aren't shooting at me yet. So... There's that. Okay, now this is went from red to blue. Is this an elevator? What did I just... Oh, it is an elevator. Okay. Seems perfectly safe. This is more than a bunker. You know, when I heard it was a bunker in this game, I just pictured this, like, maybe 20 by 30 underground thing. This is... This is serious. Wow, a whole train station. See, I just want to crouch and stealth it up. What is that? Floating interact button. Oh... So it's a similar insignia with zero instead of four. Okay. Wow, this is really, really gorgeous game. All right, let's check out, can I run? Can I do something other than flat foot it <laughs> on this metal? No, I cannot. There's another interact button. There's another one over here. It seems very linear. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. We're, you know, we're making it through a story. And the environment really helps. But like I said, I'm so used to Fallout games, I, I just want to loot everything. Oh, here we go. All right can't read that but there's a picture of whatever that is and it's from 1960 April 18th The little glowing circles really help understand it, uh, but I think it's almost too easy, you know, as I, as I fail the opening this thing. All right, let's check this out. Oh, that is dark. I can't even read that. I need a light. I can't turn or anything. Um, boy, I cannot read that. Looks like it's basically a letter, someone's letter to their grandma saying they miss, a, miss her and wish they got to see her and then it's signed to Dahlia. Oh wait, that's where I came from. this where I came from? Now I'm... It literally took me three seconds to get confused already. Because I already looked at this. 
Is there a map? No, there's not a map. Okay. I already looked at that thing, though, so let's, uh... Maybe I should start paying attention. Yeah, thank. Yeah, okay. So I went and I looked at that. Now I'm going this way. way do I go? This is like my first decision here. Let's go this way because it looks like maybe I'll be able to clear this out and then go back. There's a note. You're advised that only one, man I cannot read that, suitcase per person will be allowed in Gesselschaft. Additional belongings, all additional belongings will be disposed of upon arrival. The rule will be enforced by the SS Race and Settlement Main Office. Man, I cannot read that. Can you guys read that? It doesn't help that I have this microphone in my face. <laughs> oh, there's a little teacup. All right, nothing I can do with it. I have a feeling though that I'll have to use it later, maybe. So I have to remember where the teacup is. Check out this car. Oh, another flashback. I'm leaving, do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me. I don't want to spend my whole life here. Mama? Mama, are you okay? Hmm, that's quite a flashback. I'm writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand it's not in my place. See, a lot of this seems like it's not really like talking about cutting down a tree in their yard. Oh, okay. So it looks like it says, next time I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat resembles me. We look nothing alike, not to mention your passport photograph. Alas, you are the only person I know of in all of Bavaria who was granted this ticket. So it looks like someone switched out tickets. That may come in handy later. I just want to find this technology I heard about. Man, this place is a mess. Right, there's something to grab. Spiritus. Is that like Festivus? I wish I could, like, take this stuff with me or something. You know? Let's go this way. So I started out on... Where did I start? On that side? Wow, it goes way further down over there too. This is a big place. I'm a simple man. I see a lever and I pull it, right? Oh, 
can't pull it. Alright. So I tried it and it doesn't let me do it again. Um, it's a bunch more levers. Oh. Alright, there's another lever there and then I have a note here. Let's see what this note says. Many times I prayed, please God make me ignorant, make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I am just a simple machinist doing what is asked of him, but in my heart I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all those years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is that now the day has finally come and you are the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today I lose a friend. And I can't help but wonder, it's starting to get a little... Uh, if I had to be, if it had to be that way, maybe if I'd found the courage to question my orders, I'd have known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I am truly sorry that it had to end like this. More photos. I can't look at any of that stuff, though. Let's try to pull this lever here. Oh, that works. Oh. Sorry. I broke your thing. Your ice thing. Alright, let's go down there and check that out. Hurry, run. Run, I say. There's no running. Now, <laughs> you would think that I would want to go on there, but let's check out over here first. I just have a feeling there might be more to it. Although I am completely wrong. So, let's jump on here, looks like the train can go on here, I don't know. All right, another lever. sideways what oh okay cool going deeper into the depths wow that looks really really cool we are deep. <laughs> We're deep in a cave. This is like Minecraft music. So all the lights are on down here. I guess when I flipped that switch, I turned everything on. All right. So, I guess I need to go this way. that way it wouldn't be so painful to make wrong decisions like that if it didn't take so long to walk Can I go? no, can't go that way 
Because they... They really block you. Okay, can't go that way. Maybe I need to go back. What was that? I don't, I wouldn't think I'd have to go this way, but. Try it. Nope. Alright, what was I doing wrong here? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm not going faster. I held, held down shift before and didn't do anything. Now I held it down and it like zoomed in. Huh. Can't do anything here. Can't jump. Alright, what am I missing here? Maybe I can like crouch under that one train over there. Oh yeah, there's a white dot right there. Yeah, I saw that light, that strong light here, and I thought, gotta be able to make it over there somehow. Interact button there, interact button there. Let's try this one. Zdrowość Maria Łyski pełna, Pan z Tobą. Błogosławiony jesteś między niewiastami. Błogosławiona łos żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maria, Matko Boża. That's creepy. That meant. Alright, I think this over here is to open this door. One thing I noticed too is, well, yeah, you see the, the interact button kind of goes away when you're a little further away. When, when the game first started, it seemed like they held your hand a little bit more. Um, you could see the interact button from, you know, clear across the room. So maybe they're lightening up on that a little bit to, uh, you know, to allow you to explore a little bit. Which is cool. Alright, so let's open this door. No, another flashback? Is it? No. Not a flashback. Usually when it t turns white like that, it's a flashback. But is this scary at all? It's not scary yet. Uh, when it first started, you had to go down in this tunnel uh, in this bunker, and it was pitch black, and it was a little scary. <laughs> I'll admit. But nothing's jumped out at me or anything like that. Oh, this is a flashback. Yeah, this is a flashback, because there, this was not here before. Um, so far, this is a very linear game. You know, there's certain things to do, and they kind of point you in the in the direction to go. All right, that was the flashback, and now I'm back here.
Oh, I see. Yeah, the walking speed, I know, right? <laughs> So I had that photograph in my hand earlier and had that insignia with a four and I found zero now I found one so I guess I'm supposed to find up to four yeah no idea why but we'll have to keep looking yeah this walking speed see I'm when I press shift it like zooms in a little bit but it doesn't seem like he's walking any faster sure if I need to check out all these rooms these cars but oh there's something please be a gun please be a gun no <laughs> no gun what is that line nothing I can interact with okay What is that? Now this is Bioshock. Um, okay, I better put that down. Uh, we found the Spiritus bottle before and there's another one right there. I don't know. Ah, you scared me. Old picture. Kids. Uh, can I take a nap? No, I cannot. Violin. And darkness. Okay. I keep pressing shift. To tr I, it seems like... Sometimes it does seem like it's making me go a little bit... Faster. <laughs> Maybe it's in my mind. I don't know. Do I like it? Um, I feel like I don't even know yet. Like, I, you know, I feel like the walking speed is horrendous. The game is gorgeous, though. It's a really, really gorgeous game. I just don't know what's going on yet. Which is a good thing, you know? I feel like I need to... Um, I need to find out. There's a lot of these notes too. That is a poem. And I don't know the importance of all the stuff I'm finding. That's that's another thing. It, it's like too much. This is really cool looking. I keep hearing weird noises. I think I, I would definitely suggest playing it with headphones. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. There must have been a pebble under that. See, what is that noise? I can't go over there. I can't jump. There's just things to interact with, basically. Oh. Uh, let's try... That one. A lot of these notes, I don't really understand what they have to do with anything. They're just kind of like daily life, you know... Stuff. They talk about these tickets. Packing list provided by the SS Race and Settlement main office. That sounds uh, <laughs> like something you can't say. Oh, thanks for the follow, Vile Knight 12. Appreciate it. 
I know this is kind of a, you know, a slow-paced game that might not be that exciting, but uh, we do play more exciting games here. <laughs> Um, I cannot even see that. I can't even... I can move the mouse <laughs> around and do a little... A little palm... Thing. But that's it. I can't... Can't do anything with it. Oh, I did I keep it? Oh, I did keep it. Wait a minute. So that was, um... That's the first time I've been able to do that. I'm just pressing random buttons to see if, like, shift does anything, if tab does anything. No. But you see that down in the left corner? It looks like that thing I took is in my possession. The thing I could not read is now mine. Alright. It's going to take me an hour to walk across this room. Oh. I, I do feel like shift sometimes makes me go faster. If I just nudge it a little bit. Uh, I don't, oh. I see an interact thing over there on that. How do I get in there? Oh, there's some here too. Toy tank. Do the old... <laughs> oh, I didn't get to keep that one? That's all right. What is this? Oh, that's my ticket. <sighs> so I stamped my own ticket. All right. Oh, entrance instructions. In order to enter Gesellschaft, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Have your Auschweiz ready. I guess I do. Form a line at the window. There's no one else <laughs> around me. Give the clerk your Auschweiz for stamping. Take your stamped identification and proceed to the entry point in an orderly fashion. Scan your stamped Auschwitz at the entrance council. Console. Your stamped Auschwitz is your ticket to Gesellschaft. All right. So it looks like I stamped my Auschwitz. And then um, now I can get on the train. Or something. Is that, that looks like another ticket. Um, nothing I can do with that. Okay. Oh boy. You're kidding me. I can't even begin to read that. Uh, it looks like just a it's a packing list. Um, yeah, nothing exciting. Chamber located. Yeah, it just kind of reiterates the fact that we have to stamp our ticket or whatever that is. All right. I guess that's like if you found that before finding the office. But I don't know where to go now. Colonist rules and regulations. Okay. Get all your shots. Work diligently. Educate uh, yourself in your choice of profession relevant to the life after the shelter. So, it seems like a thing where they're getting people together for the shelter. And like all these, you know, these suitcases and everything all have tickets. And there's letters that are showing that people have tickets, but... Where are they? 
Where are the bodies? Where are the skeletons? Huh. Wait, let me check that again. It says E down there. Oh, okay. That helps a lot. I wish I would have seen that before. So if I press E, it has it right there where I can read it because I cannot read it on that paper. Okay, well, that's cool. That's good to know. A little pipe. Okay. I keep hearing something over here. All right, so here's, I guess, where I put that thing in there. All right, no turning back now. Uh, literally, no turning back at all. Oh, I just got an achievement, Ubermensch. Okay. hearing stuff in the dark. Oh, here we go. Look at that. That's so much easier. I wish I would have seen that e before. You're, yeah, and you guys can probably read that too because it's so much clearer. You may experience some discomfort. Do not be alarmed. Your body will soon adjust to the new conditions. Staying in Gesselshaft is... A guarantee of safety, innovation, and freedom. It's like a vault. It's like a, you know, Fallout vault. That's what it sounds like to me. All of you have been carefully chosen by the Office of Racial Policy to continue the thousand-year Reich here where the degradation of the outside world cannot reach you. Um, okay, this the stream is going to get canceled if I keep reading this. <laughs> uh, okay. So there's that. I really wish you could run in this game. Because there's so many things I want to check out, but I don't want to spend so much time walking to them. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. It's taken from the front line in the midst of an assault on the enemy and then hidden underground like a coward just because there may be a need for someone in my position to protect high-ranking dignitaries that may or may not arrive at this shelter. Okay. I'm requesting reassignment to my previous post without delay. Oh, not saying that next part. <laughs> Alright, this is dark over here, so... Do I still have my... Oh. It's a closed door. I wish I still had the lighter out. I imagine I just continue. Oh. <laughs> I imagine I go toward that elevator, is what I was going to say. And then it just opened for me. Scary. Four. I guess that's the only place I can go, is four. happening hitting it always works anger the first one was called denial this one's called anger okay I guess I've been here a while oh this freaks me out you ever been stuck on an elevator and you have to get out half, you know, mid-floor? It's scary. Alright. Oh, this is two. It looks like. Still looking for four. Um, yeah, I don't think anything goes that way. Let's try this way. 
Okay. So we're at least inside a building. Uh-oh. Some kind of alarm is going off. This is really cool looking. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, um... I guess this is a little more backstory into the war itself. So, Union remains our enemy and it's uncertain how long the USA will remain will maintain neutrality. Our priority must be producing large amounts of atomic weaponry and developing a method of deploying said weaponry at long distances. Um, well, we know that they did that. It says the network of radiation proof bunkers must be suitable for 15 plus years of inhabitation. So th this is supposed to take place in 1980, although I just read that Oh wait, no, this is from 1949, this note. So apparently everyone in the bunker, uh, everything I found, like newspapers, all that, was all dated 1960. But this boy is supposed to be in 1980. So, there's that. What is this right here? Press it. Okay. Nothing else to check out here. Okay. So I buzzed myself in. First of all, though, can I interact? Oh, that's a... Oh. See that camera move? It's following me. That's creepy. So, either it's automatic or somebody is watching me. This is about preparing children for the Third Reich. Okay. There's another camera following me. How do I turn off that alarm? Look at that, like the lighting and everything. Got the lens flare. Really gorgeous game. Blueprints. Dust blueprints. Looks like a nuclear nuclear missile, I guess. So this must be the war room or something. something over here. Oh, maybe is that one on? Lots of F words. Uh, it looks like it's talking about Until harvest, I don't know. But uh, doesn't it sound like something's on over here? Huh. 
That's a cool drawing. Maybe that shows how bored they were. See, I hear it right here. Oh, maybe it's in the next room. Run, 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 run. So, I'm being watched, and that TV is amazing. All right, I'm back. So let's continue this here. I found some blueprints. And it looks like, you know, there's this giant TV here with cameras that follow me. So maybe that means that the cameras aren't being viewed uh, by anyone else except this room maybe and there's no one in this room so <clears throat> I think that's it this is like a museum I keep hearing noises Sure, what's out there? I feel like knowing German would help a lot in this game. But I guess that's what this is it's like a museum of accomplishments. That's almost like a laser, uh, part of a laser rifle from Fallout. There's something. Oh. <clears throat> All 
All right, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay. Some kind of, some kind of like war metal or something. Oh, creepy. Huh? Why did I say huh? Spotlight. Am I supposed to dance? <clears throat> the spotlight is directing me over here. Huh. Alright. Alright, spotlight. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, this is a uh, first time I get to choose. <laughs> Why would I just say arg? I know you're out there. Somebody help me. Hello. I'm going to say I know you're out there. I know you're out there. Was it the cameras? Did you see them following you? <laughs> they are not easy to operate. <laughs> what do you want? Who says I want anything? I was just watching you out of curiosity. Who are you? I came here to look for things to scaven, just like you. I mean, that's why you are here, right? Ah, oh, you can tell me. Mm -hmm. No, for someone. I'm looking for someone. Um, mm, I haven't seen anyone else here. But hey, I can help you with that. I'm in some sort of control center, so I've got a pretty good view of things. There are cameras, switches, and whatnot in here. I could help you find whoever it is you're looking for. What do you say? How can I trust you? What do you want in return? Um, okay, How trust. can I trust you? I don't know. Just trust me. Oh, okay. Somehow I got myself locked in here. So I just need you to find the control room and get me out. You help me and I help you. That is called a quick pro pro. <laughs> I know what it's called or I didn't know that. I'm just going to say I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. See, we can even learn from each other on the way. <clears throat> so, will you help me? Okay, I will. I, if I said no, would the game end? No. Dobrze, I will help you. Tell me how. So, I have this map and I think I figured it out. We are on level two. Um, should be minus two if you ask me. Anyway, the room we are in is connected to a warehouse that leads to the forge. And that's where the control room should be. And that's where you are? That's right. Just come here and get me out before I completely lose my mind. <clears throat> oh, as a gesture of goodwill, I even open the door for you. Thank Voila. you. So, I guess I should get going. Yep. Be careful out there. Uh -oh. I... Did you want to say something? You won't hurt me, you right? You won't hurt me, right? I wasn't planning to, but now you mention it. Kidding. I'm not going anywhere, so if you see a microphone, you can say hi or whatever. Uh, so I have to find this person who's in a control room. <clears throat> Connected to a warehouse? This must be the warehouse. Wow. And she said we're on level two. And in that photo it shows up to a level four. of salt. I'm in the cave, not the warehouse. <clears throat> I figured I would entertain with some facts about this place. Mm. That might have been the only fact I know about this place. Uh. That speaker's all over the warehouse, so you will be hearing from me.
All right, so this is basically about more about supplies. To ensure our victory. And then there's something over here. It's like a D and D card, isn't it? Uh, D and D uh, character sheet. That's what I was trying to say. Character sheet. That's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, and there's dice and everything. So I guess that's how they kept themselves entertained. You know, those little interact interaction circles are really sensitive sometimes. You have to be like right in the right spot. What do you think they keep in those containers? Nothing very useful. They are still unopened. Unless they never got a chance to open them. Maybe they didn't know how? Hmm. No. That couldn't be. Do I need to do a jumping puzzle here? No, I guess not. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. I have to hold down the button to go down. Oh my god, this is so slow. Uh, uh, okay. Another lever. Every time I see those cameras, I think that they are uh, something to interact with, but it's just a camera. I can't get through. I can see that. I have an idea. But I need your help. What should I do? <clears throat> do you see that crane? I think I can yes. control it from here. But first we have to release it from that thing. Can you do something about that? I can try. That's like a nuclear missile engine or something. Uh, that propulsion. Lever, you need to pull it. Which one? I like how he just sighs randomly sometimes. All right, so I need to pull a lever up here. <clears throat> Which lever is she talking about? There's a... Lever. Where are you? Oh, right there. Okay. Got it! <clears throat> oh. That would have been scary if it fell.
How in the world? Oh, you can hear it creaking, which is super scary. Alright, I need to... I guess I should have stayed down here. I want to go look at it. I think I have to press this button over here. Yeah. What are you planning to do with that rocket? Be quiet and focus. Don't drop it. Oh. Watch out. It might blow up. <laughs> it won't blow up. Don't. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Are you alright? That works. How did you know it wouldn't blow up? Blow up? How did you know it wouldn't blow up? I didn't. So you risk my life? Hey, I got you out of there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't see any cameras in there. So I'll meet you on the other side. Okay. Walks this slowly. <laughs> Especially a 12 year old boy, he'd be like running around and everything. Oh, this is another one we have to choose, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I, they don't even have writing on them, do they? Okay. I guess I need to get it facing me. Oh. Ah, this is my first real confusing puzzle. So. Let's press it to go the other way. Maybe now I can get on it or something. <clears throat> Although I don't see a way... Huh. Can I get down? There's like a little fire over there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Alright, so I need to find my way over to... I guess to get on that train. Run, 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 run. back from over here. It's got to be over here. <clears throat> so I have to figure this one out without her help. But there's no... Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, man. What do you guys think? I already went all down there, went over there. Nothing here. Uh, 
Um, let's see. What am I missing? The, the light is up there, which makes me think there's something I have to do there, but... Okay, well, I guess I go back to this other room, slowly. Oh, here we go. Ladder. Oh, wait, that's where I came from. Do I want to go... Hmm. Maybe I can call her again. Oh, I have to go this way. <coughs> See if I can call her again and ask her. No, I can't. Oh. got to be in that room because you know this game has been pretty linear so far I don't think I'd have to go back up there no I don't think so it's got to be over here something I'm overlooking but man this slow Walking makes it so much worse. Hmm. I just want to fall off. I just want to fall off and smash my head to the bottom. <laughs> Make the pain go away. Alright, uh, I'm gonna press it. Okay, that doesn't do anything when I press it again. I don't know. Because this up here, that's the way it was when I got here. So, that wouldn't make sense for it to be like that. Huh. Jump off, and you can just climb right up there. No. Alright, let's try it again. So, it obviously has to go like that. Hmm. I guess I didn't look in here well enough. Uh, I guess I did. There's nowhere I can go. Can't go anywhere in there. What does that say? No idea what that says. Can't go over here. Everything is walled off. I don't think I can climb up anything. No, yeah, because it would have the little interaction thing on it. Did I beat the game? Is that what happened? I won! No. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I'm missing something with this rocket or... I'm, I'm literally just going to walk around the edges looking for interaction circles. Uh, and if that fails, I will go back up the ladder. <sighs> I like how he keeps sighing at me. He's like, come on. No. Nothing over here. This is going to be a mistake. Yep. Because I have to go all the way back. <clears throat> oh, I can't get around the rocket. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. A little, a little glitch there for a second. So I'm gonna go back up that ladder and see if there's anything over there. Five hours later. Camera's there. She's watching me in the camera and she's not saying anything. No, I don't think there's anything to do over here. Maybe another lever opened up or something. Because there's the train over there. Oh, how I wish right now this was a uh, Assassin's Creed game or something where I could jump, you know, jump over stuff and climb over stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm backtracking way too much here. Because this is when I first started talking to that girl. There's the train down there, but there's no other way to go. All right, let's go back down. Can I go this way? Looks like there's a ladder here, but it is pitch black. I have no, oh. No, the ladder just stops right there. Man, I had hope for a second. I thought that would be it. Can't go that way. that way. This is stuff I already looked at. Can't go that way.
All right, let's go back. What am I missing? It seems to me like I press that button to make the car turn either to open up that area right there or to connect it over here for a way to get on and go across, right? But it's not doing anything. Because that doesn't do anything when I... I thought maybe it would keep going around. Well, let me try... Let me try pressing this twice. Oh, there we go. I had to press that one twice. Look at that. That was like a half hour wasted. Okay. Wow, I'm glad I found that. Figured that one out. That was... That was painful. Ooh. Is that a, what do they call those? It's like the German equivalent to an M50. Oh, I forgot what those are called. battles going on here I guess that's what I need to figure out like why would there be so much shooting down in the secured base you know Way of doing it. Efficient? You're starting to sound like that. 
I sound like a scientist who doesn't want unnecessary bloodshed. Mm. So, what are you suggesting as a scientist? I'm suggesting we turn on that computer and use it against them like we did before. No! Out of the question. Think about it. It can scan the area and find all of them for us. I said no. We will no longer use their technology. You disconnected it yourself. You know what it requires to operate. How are we different from them if we can live with those consequences? It is too late to help them anyway. And without it, it will take us weeks to find the Nazis. Let it take months. Do not bring this up again. That's an order. Must I remind you I'm the reason we found this place? Who are you to order anything? I'm first in command now. Alright. So someone, the scientists, are fighting against the Nazis. Or a scientist and a lieutenant. I'm really close to that control room. What happened here? Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. It's a good thing they left recorders everywhere. No. I can't do it. Fuck. No one ever shot at me before. A few ounces of lead. A few thousand feet per second. I won't even notice. I won't even notice. A man shoots. The Lord carries the bullet. Let it be. <clears throat> All right. I want to take one of these guns. Just in case, you know. Hello? Where are you? This is the right room, isn't it? Is it a trap? This is the control room. Oh, look at all those files I can look at over there. Should I look at those before I mess with that thing? Alright, let's do this one. Um, that's it. It's not going to let me look at the contents of the files. Oh. There's something. Okay. Alright, let me mess with this computer. This is the one they were talking about. That can locate. Hey, people. where are you? What do you mean? I'm still here waiting for you. I'm in the room you told me to go to. What? That's impossible. Uh-oh, what is going on? Or is this like a quantum leap time travel... Um... Thing? You must be in a different room then. Um, sorry, I didn't know. I didn't mean to send you on a wild goose chase. That's okay. We all make mistakes. You're kind. I really thought it was here. <laughs> it really means a lot that you trusted me. I'm sorry I disappointed you. The truth is, I don't know what's happening to me. I've been locked in here for I don't know how long, and I'm getting really scared. I guess what I'm trying to say is, 
No, you are my only hope. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Hope isn't going to help me find a way. You are right. What are you doing? Just give me a second. Yes, I got it. It says here you're in a control room, right? So you're probably talking through an EVE console. I guess. That machine has control over the entire area. We should be able to get access to the maps, Yay, maps. doors, shafts, everything. But the screen says it needs a memory tube. Huh. I wonder what that for. See if you can find one lying around. It's probably what I found over in those yeah, right things now. over there. It says here that the memory tubes have something to do with the oversight system for the whole bunker. They recorded events back when the system was still working. Alright, no problem. Memory tube. Memory tube. This is it right here. Yeah. Memory tube. Alright. I have a memory tube. Now I need to insert it. Oh, oh, there we go. Troop deployment to the area, 138 seconds. Civilian survival, 96. Oh, okay. I thought I had to choose one. It's basically showing me what happened, I guess. I'll let you guys watch this. I'll be right back.
was pretty horrific. Bunker was trying to defend itself. What I miss? By any means necessary. Probably I guess nothing. that's all war really is in the end. People killing each other in desperation. Did it end? Did what end? The war. Did the war end? I think so. I don't really know. Yeah, no one tells me anything either. So, what was it like where you came from? The world was lifeless. Yes, it There's is. no one out there. Everything is dead. That's... That's sad to hear. So... What do we do now? Now? I have access to the control system in this area. And I can let you out of this room. Yay. I'll study the map and try to find the central control room. Go straight through the forge. There should be a passage down there. So, I take it that this computer is the voice that I'm hearing. And that it's like some kind of AI personality trapped in the computer. That's my guess. Uh, I don't think there's a real person. But, we'll see. that been doing that for 20 years No way to keep going. According to my map, there should be a pipe there. It leads directly to the living area. Can't you see it? So? You expect me to jump? Listen, I wouldn't have led you here if I didn't think you could do it. Is that really the only way down? I'm gonna ask her if she can help me. Can't you help me somehow? I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can do. Now it's all up to you. You trusted me. She once. thinks. I just need you to trust me again. That pipe is part of the cooling system for this forge. There's a small reservoir at the end that should soften your landing. Should. At least there should be. No. Oh. Should be. Should be. You mean you aren't sure? It's been so long since anything in here was working. It's anyone's guess if it's still there. But I'm willing to bet that it is. But what? You said the world outside is lifeless, right? So what? So even though it's an empty, unforgiving place, you survived. You are a fighter. You can do it. You can do it. What will happen if I don't jump? What will happen if I don't jump? Have you ever felt helpless? Like you have no control over the things going on around you? Like you have to just accept whatever happens next? No matter how painful it is? Things don't have to be like that this time. You're in control now. So, to answer your question, if you don't jump, there's a chance you'll end up asking mm. yourself what if. And that's an awful feeling. It's probably not worse than breaking okay. your legs. I will do it. I will jump. Everything's going to be alright, trust me. Heard that before. You can swim, right? Uh, wait, what? Okay, here goes. Run! I would have looked first. I would have... Okay. 
bargaining. This is like part three. Ah! Who knows the kind of water that was. Bubbling? Ugh. I was just in that. Okay, let's go this way. This is three, level three. Yes, I know. Almost there. Level four. Sweet, sweet level four. I'm not sure who the, who the people in the picture are. I guess that's kind of the point. We'll find out. Looks like a movie set or something. Like a beach movie set. It's kind of weird. Is there anything I can do with any of this stuff? Oh, here we go. Another recording. Very catchy. All right. Can I? Where can I get a copy of that? That's pretty sweet, actually. Alright, do I dare walk over here? Alright, this is gonna be a mistake. Uh, uh, I probably can't go that way. Okay, let's just go this way. This is a weird, like, movie set or fake beach where people can pretend they're on the beach? Not sure. Look at me, I'm wet. I'm rinsing off all the nasty stuff. That is a weird statue. Seems like I hear people. That's cool. That's very post-apocalyptic. Alright, I hear... It sounds like some kind of commotion going on. is so slow. Alright, I maybe I missed something here. No. Oh, here we go. This window. I think when they're solid white like that, you don't have to click. You basically just go up to it. And it'll do its thing. Is anyone here?
Guess that's a no. Effective immediately, all the cameras in the compound are to be disabled until the debugging of each room takes place. All the communication that pertains to matters of pro production, strategy, food distribution, future plans, etc. is to be conducted through written messages. For the time being, assume that all, our, all of your conversations are being monitored. He's listening. Who is he? else over here it always amazes me how short your memories are I walk these corridors day after day and hear the growing whispers what if he's right maybe he has a point what if what if let me remind those who have forgotten <coughs> when the battle of the bunker ended we went looking for German civilian survivors none were found alive must I remind you why? Hmm. Because the bunker's machinery had removed them from the battlefield so they wouldn't interfere with the counter-attack. Only to suffocate them in one of the unventilated hungers. That's weird. Is this the kind of effectiveness we are looking for? Is that the value we put on human life? I will say it once more. No! I will never allow these machines to be turned on again. Okay, so there's machines that eliminated the soldiers. And I think this girl that I'm talking to is one of those machines. What do you guys think? There's so many details in here. I feel like I'm, I haven't, you know, like all these books and everything, they all have real titles. Well, kind of. It's all in Polish. Some of these are Polish, maybe, yeah. All right, I have, I think I've explored this whole room. I came in that window, so I wanna go this way now. Come on, where's the sweet spot? There it is. All Nazi documents are to be left untouched, despicable as they are. We will not burn them. The Nazis already burn all evidence of their atrocities on their own. We do not need to aid them. When the war finally ends, and it will end, these documents will be used to expose them and hold them to account. All the documents are to be stored in the file room. So I'm past the part, I'm, I'm past the, you know, the Nazi area, and now I'm in the Polish area. What was that? I, I imagine. Um, Is it, oh, can I talk to her again? <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? Ugh, it's not working. I need to find a control room. Where is the control room? It's locked. Key card. <clears throat> Is anyone up there? Spooky.
Please don't leave. I knew that others were considering leaving. I just never realized you were one of them. If you go, Dominica won't let us see each other ever again. You know, she doesn't allow any of his followers to interact with us. Is his superstitious gibberish more important to you than me? Can't go over there. book has like a spotlight on it. Alright, I guess I need to go through this room. It's locked. Locked, locked, locked. Everything is locked. But over here... So... That camera's been broken up there. Huh. Interesting. Bag of chips. I like how you just size sometimes. Huh. I don't know what this room is supposed to be. There's nothing in here. Uh, oh well. I'm going to stop it here because it's been two hours. And I need some faster things going on in my life right now besides this game. So. <laughs> So here's my overall impressions. My first impressions of this game. Two hours in, it's beautiful, of course. It's uh, very linear. It's uh, There was only one part that kind of tricked me up, and that's only because I didn't think about pressing one button twice. And But the, the main thing is it's so slow to walk around, and it's really frustrating. It, it kind of makes me not want to even you know, continue. Because it's like, that's why how they can say it's like a 50 hour game because it takes so long to walk through it. Um, I, I wish there was a like a way to walk more quickly. Maybe there is, maybe I missed it. I'm going to, as soon as I get off here, I'm going to look it up. Because I haven't looked at anything on this game. And I'm going to see if there's a way to walk faster or whatever. And then maybe I'll stream it again. And uh, I feel like we're probably approaching the end. You know, we're at level 3. We're supposed to get to level 4 to find this person in the picture I feel like we're getting there um, but yeah stay tuned for another stream of this and uh, I'll do some research on it but thanks everyone for watching I really appreciate it uh, it's been fun and I am out of here